Hey guys, welcome to Ultimate Greatness, and today we have the Batman Telltale series. Uh, this will be uh, the first part of the fifth episode. And uh, yeah, so um, obviously in the uh, last episode, it um, ended up leaving us on a cliffhanger. Um, we uh, ended up going to Penguin uh, to make sure that our devices wouldn't be hacked, but in doing that, um, Alfred had to defend the mansion on his own with Two-Face coming at him and in the end result the house is burning, we have no idea where Alfred is so I guess we will now um, start the episode, hopefully we can find Alfred and hopefully he's alive um, and yeah we'll see what we do now um, but, uh, yeah, so, um, but uh, yeah, so with all that said I guess we'll uh, start the episode um, and uh, yeah I guess uh, yeah, here we go. This is the uh, Batman Telltale series, uh, season one, episode five, part one. All right, here we go. Hey, okay, previously on the Batman Telltale series. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the veils killed? I never said he killed the Vales. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. Okay. So where are you gonna go? I've got some other business I need to take care of. What the hell did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. That's what a leader does. Mm. Ah! Oh, oh, you psycho! Oh, no, you can do whatever you want to me. The Lady Arkham's plans are already in motion. Mm. Yeah, and the house is on fire. Or mansion, or whatever it's called. I wonder if Alfred got out alive though. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story, the, ah, the story is tailored to how you play. All right, let's uh, start the episode. The city is still reeling from an explosion mm -hmm. Mayor Harvey Dent set off that obliterated an entire city block and killed innocents. When questioned about his extreme measures, Mayor Dent said he'll use any force necessary to take down the children of Arkham. Hmm. So this is five days after the fourth episode. You're done, Gordon! Give up your badge and we'll let you live. Meanwhile, his opponents are shot. routinely silenced. The latest to speak out is Police oh. Commissioner Grogan. He called Dent a murderer and a terrorist and demanded his immediate resignation. In response, Dent's enforcers attempted to arrest Grogan, sparking violence inside the precinct. These are dark days in Gotham. Our mayor promised us a better city, but delivers only more violence. How long do we let this two-face stay in power? How long can we... Hey, excuse me, you can't be in here. Hey, you can't do this! Shut hey, up! Let me go! Hey, hey, stop! Time's up! should have known better, Gordon. Mm. Now we nail your tongue to the precinct door by order of City Hall. Just try me. You punks. Mm. Wouldn't you take out the middle one first? Like, before you start, like, trying to be, like, all, like, dramatic and shit? We've got him. Just in time, Batman. Ugh. Mayor Dent's lost his goddamn mind. His enforcers have overrun the city. Apparently, our new mayor doesn't care much for dissent. He's ordered a purge of every honest cop we have left. Which isn't many. Mm. Dent is a maniac. And he needs to be stopped before he tears this city apart. 
Yeah, don't let me get in your way. Come on. The commissioner's still down there. Oh. Sure you're up for this? I have to be. Follow my lead. Yep. Damn, would that kill kill him or would that? That's an electric shock. Damn. In the lobby, the commissioner. They can't hold out much longer. died a hero, giving his life for Gotham. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Now this... Mm. This is not your fault. It's a bastard, Dents. Brogan was a good man. A family man. Lieutenant Gordon! Gordon! Come in! S Sergeant Kelly! Report! It's the mayor! At Wayne Manor! He's got... hostages. And he's killing them one by one until Bruce Wayne shows. He says, he says, cops show up, he'll kill another. Batman shows up, he'll kill them all. Kelly, get out of there. Sir, I'm... I'll let the coin decide. Kelly! Kelly! Damn it! Mm. Get yourself to a hospital, Lieutenant. I wonder if we go with Batman or is Bruce Wayne? Alfred, are you safe? Yes, I'm barricaded in the Batcave. I heard gunshots, but then Harvey's men disabled the cameras. Mm. I have to face Harvey as Bruce Wayne. Otherwise, he'll just keep killing people. Perhaps going as Bruce could be an advantage. Even without the suit, you're a formidable opponent. I know the old Harvey is still in there somewhere. If anyone can reach him, mm. it's you. I'll be standing by if you need me. It's time to end this, Harvey. Once and for all. Alright, let's do this. One year ago. I want a safer Gotham. A Gotham where working people can raise their families. A fear of being robbed or stabbed or, or worse. I just... I know I can make the city better. If only I... Okay, I'll back you. <laughs> Come on, Bruce. That joke is in poor taste. I'm serious, Harvey. I'll fund your campaign completely. I've lived in Gotham my whole life. And I've never seen an official I can believe in. Mm. Tell you. Oh, thank you, Bruce. I, I... I promise I will not let you down. Mm -mm, never even crossed my mind. The only real question is this election or next? 
We'll let the coin decide. <clears throat> Lucky. But someone has to die. Are you volunteering, Deborah? Harvey! Wait! Mm. About damn time! So I'm assuming we're now back in the present. Yeah, we have to be. Snipers, two of them. Get the drones online. I'll see what I can do. I wasn't sure you'd come. You weaseled your way out of the death you deserve. Like a coward. Please, Harvey! Let these people go! Oh, you really think it'll be that easy? You're dumber than you look, Bruce. Maybe you'll look smarter with a bullet in your face! Listen to yourself! This isn't you. <laughs> Wait. Mm. What am I saying? I've tried to fight it, Bruce, but... I can't. Bruce, I only ever wanted to help Gotham. And now look at me. I can't stop him. He's stronger than I am. Mm -hmm. I've known you a long time, Harvey. You are stronger than your demons. I could always count on your friendship, Bruce. Until what happened with Selena. Nothing it happened. Seems to be birds to people like you. All of you. Traitors. Terrorists. And cops who don't take their mayor's oh. orders. Harvey, don't. This is the only way to clean up this cesspool! Oh, damn. No, please! This is what happens to people who cross me, Wayne. You were the fiercest DA the city ever had. Someone who fought for people's dreams. So much for a safer Gotham. You're right. This isn't me. Go. Go. Get away. I would let them all go, but... It's not up to me. Deborah, my not-so-faithful assistant. You've been feeding my enemies info since the start! <laughs> I swear Back I did. all you want, but it's not up to me. Your life, his life, even my life. They all hinge on Jack. Listen to what she's saying, Harvey. Mm -hmm. oh, people will lie through their teeth for a stay of execution. She didn't betray you. Oh, God. What did I do? What... What did he make me do? Mm. Ow, Bruce! Oh, God, please don't. Harvey, no more. No more? I'm just getting started. This is the only way to keep people in line. Hmm. Harvey, no! This is not who you are. You once said you wanted a better Gotham. Is this what you had in mind? Oh, I wanted so much for this city, Bruce, but I failed. We were good friends once, Bruce. I'm glad you're here. At the end. Maybe you can remember me the way I was before. Before him. No, 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 no. Bruce, I need... I need the result. Drop the damn coin! Without the coin, I can't... I, I can't... Make your own call. Mm. Uh, Bruce, please, I don't, I don't know what to... I can't decide. It's too much. It's too much, I can't... <laughs> A safer Gotham, Harvey. Just like you want it. Mm. Damn, that's fucked up.
It's all over for me. You should have let me pull the trigger. You've done me and all of Gotham a favor. It's what I deserve. I still have hope for you, Harvey. Yeah. Sure, Bruce. Mr. Wayne. <laughs> I... I owe you so much. You're a hero. And I'm gonna make sure all of Gotham knows it. You should be rotting in Arkham! <laughs> Lady Arkham hasn't forgotten you. Everything you love will burn. Damn. Alright, this is the start of episode 5, Batman the Telltale series. It's been a pretty good start to the series. A pretty good start to the episode, sorry. Your usual tea and the entire pantry, I'm afraid, didn't survive the fire. This is from my own personal supply. Thanks, Alfred. Mm. We're not the only ones that took a hit while Mayor Dent was in power. Well, at least you've ensured Harvey won't be hurting anyone else. Bruce... These last few weeks, I worry about the toll they've taken on you. Facing off mm. against Harvey and Oswald in a matter of days. D not just the physical toll. But the mental. Those were men you once trusted. And after finding out what you did about your father, people must seem a great disappointment to you. Always mm. letting you down. Even those whom you admire. I'm not all people. You've never disappointed me, Alfred. But I have. Everything that happened, I could have stopped it if I'd done something all those years ago. This, this mm -hmm. is my fault. All of it. I told you I wanted to leave your father's employ. But if only I had the guts to do something instead. Your mother, she wanted that. Wanted to put an end to his crimes. If I'd helped her... If I'd stopped Thomas, none of these horrors would have occurred. Lady Arkham, Oswald, even Harvey. I don't blame you for what happened, Alfred. You did the best you could in an impossible situation. And it helped to make me the man I am today. I... Thank you, Bruce. Mm -hmm. But our work isn't done. The children of Arkham are still out there. And Lady Arkham. With both Penguin and Mayor Dent off the board, she's the only remaining piece. We need to figure out her next move. The only thing we do know is that she moved on from her plan to poison the city. With Penguin gone and my CEO access restored, we can finally log into Wayne Enterprises and see exactly what Oswald was doing during his time in charge. Yeah. If I cross-reference that with all the data we have on Vicky Vale, we might be able to figure out the children of Arkham's next move. Okay. So let's... Your administrative at Wayne Enterprises should have been reinstated by now, along with your CEO. Mm. Let's see what Oswald was while he sat in my chair. Mm. Master Cobblepot's sense of humor hasn't changed much since you were boys. Let's see what he was doing. Alright, so. Penguin was tapping the surveillance systems across Gotham. Any building using Wayne Tech security can be spied on from the CEO's office. How is that any different than the back door into the Wayne network that he uncovered? That's not. Unless. Hold on. 
let's go look at the What do we have here? They did more than just look at these schematics. Every building in Gotham with the Wayne Tech security system can be accessed from here and remotely controlled. Mm. If Oswald was the brawn, Vicky is the brains. So let's check her file. She may have left clues about what she was using Oswald's access for. Mm, okay. So that'd be under records. Oswald altered several public records using the Wayne network. All mention of her birth name, Victoria Arkham, is completely gone. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? He also erased something from Vicky's research at the Gazette. I can't tell what was removed from here, but Wayne Tech leaves a trace when it alters data. One the bad computer can decode. What mm. is it Miss Vale wanted to hide? No surprise here, Oswald wiped away any trace of his criminal records. His background is completely fabricated. He was enrolled at Cambridge? Ridiculous. Calm down, Alfred. I'm sure the board realizes by now that they were fooled. Mm. Oswald manipulated my records as well. It would appear your degree mm. was in sociology. And my medical records. There are some... Well, but colorful diseases. Annoying, but not hard to fix. Mm. Ah. Oh, <laughs> that's better. Damn. Alright, so we'll go back. What's the next thing we're doing? Financial well, report? Oswald certainly wasn't very frugal with my money. You have a few yachts to return, it appears. Also explains how the children of Arkham had a seemingly endless supply of guns. Oswald was using way money to arm them. Yep. Oswald was, was trying to buy an island. What on earth for? Looks like he was mm -hmm. using his new legal control of Carmine Falcone's assets and likeness to brand the place. It's some kind of tourist attraction. He was going to call it... Falcone Island. Mm. Mm. We need to figure out Lady Arkham's next move. Of course. All right, let's go out. Vicky Vale, mid thirties, reporter for the Gotham Gazette, and not in the public record. Her true name. Victoria Arkham. To think mm. she was here in the manor. She gave nothing away of her true nature then. The Gazette's records are the articles written by Vicky Vale. This record isn't complete. You're right. There are notable mm. gaps between entries. But yet, it doesn't seem she ever left the Gazette's employ. So what was she doing in that time? This record would be easy to alter. Seeing what Oswald was up to could give us a fresh perspective. Yeah. The children of Arkham. Their symbol dates back much farther than their terrorist activity. They formed to get justice for those wronged at Arkham Asylum. But the message fell on deaf ears. Until they found a leader Gotham couldn't ignore. Mm -hmm. Vicky embraced this identity to follow through on her twisted crusade. Her mask inspires fear. Not unlike Batman. I just need to find her. Mm. We've already done this part, though. Now that we know how Oswald manipulated Vicky's records, the back computer should be able to... There. No more holes. Yep. She was looking into Arkham patients, reviewing records, checking submissions, prior histories. She was trying to figure out who was actually sick and who was committed because of Hill, Falcone, and my father. So she's a good person in all of this? How though? was digging deep. 
Gotham City records, freedom of information requests, post to conspiracy forums, all to find. It's a list. Gotham buildings that use Wayne Tech security systems. It's a list of targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD headquarters, Gotham First National. It's almost every landmark in the city. We're on to something. Vicky wants to bypass the security at a Gotham landmark. But without a man inside Wayne Enterprises, she can't unlock that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And when she does, we'll find her. Speaking mm. of... Is it Lady Arkham? No, it's one of Lucius's prototypes. On the move. What? But Lucius locked everything away. Well, he mm. needed a better luck. Selena. She stole from you? After we opened our doors to her. After all that you two... Alfred. Yeah, I know, Bruce, but... Why would she do this? Maybe she has a reason. Is she that cold-hearted? That selfish? She must have her reasons. Well, I'm sure she does. Computer visual. The prototype she stole. It's an electronic skeleton key. With it, you could bypass any security system made by Wayne Tech. Mm. That key is far too dangerous in Miss Kyle's hands. Especially with Lady Arkham still at large. Get the car ready, Alfred. And Alfred, let Lucius know what's happened. I'm yep. going to get some answers from Selena. Alright. Here we go, about to head off. Alright, so we have reached to the end of this video. Um... Yeah, it's been a pretty good episode so far. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess I can't wait to play more. Make sure to stay tuned for more uh, videos uh, on this uh, episode because there's definitely more coming. And uh, but yeah, I guess for now we'll leave it at that. And uh, yeah, so we've reached, we have reached to the end of this video. Uh, if you like this video, please like the video. And if you want, uh, <laughs> and if you want more, more of my content, please subscribe. Uh, and I would like to thank you all for watching. Hope to see you in another video. Thanks.